right there my walkers so this is what is known as the base model so this has basically got no bells and whistles compared to the triple black the trophy and the i think it's the te class as a te which is the green one basically with all the bells and whistles on so we're gonna have a again we're gonna have a quick walk around this have a look at it and basically just see what's on the bike what isn't on the bike and just to give you guys some options if you're looking at the 1300 what what you like the look of and what you feel like you need and what you don't need so let me grab you and we'll have a little walk around this one so as you can see what we've got here is the main headlight again with this one you get the double discs at the front with the BMW. Again, all this engine is all um, enclosed in. On this one you've got the, the pre-drilled holes for the frame. You've got the cantilever suspension. You've got the indicators in the hand guards, again. But it is a really, really nice looking bike. What I like about this bike is it doesn't look as shiny and as pristine as the other bikes. It's a bit rough and ready. This is what I like about this one. Again, the shorty exhaust, the single swing arm. This comes with 70-30 uh, off-road tyres. BMW disc at the back with the BMW brake at the back as well. Quick shifter, centre stand, all very nice. Let's have a look at the dash, let's turn the dash on. One mile, no fuel, one mile. It's amazing to look at these bikes just to see them have no mile whatsoever obviously you've still got all your mowards road enduro eco rain these do come with an sos button if you wanted one heated grips and you've got the nav at the front the windshield extension i do like that I think if you had a, a slightly higher windshield, that would make a massive difference. Like I say, out in the mall, this would be probably the one I'd go for. No bells and whistles, nothing on it whatsoever. So let's have a look at this LED light. So all four of them are on at the moment. I really like that. Very, very nice. Some of the switch gear has changed slightly. The startup button's over here now, no longer in the centre. So that button there is a startup button. Turn that on. Dash comes on. And that button is for your menus to get into the heated switch gear, heated grips. Very, very nice. Do like this one. Like I say, no fogs, nothing at the front. Very, very nice.
How you doing me muckers? Welcome back to the channel and what we're going to quickly look through today is the new BMW R1300 GS. Now this has only been out a few weeks now so really intrigued compared to my 1250 the difference between them. Already looking at it you can see the difference in the size of the bike, the height and definitely from the normal GS the, the width, the girth of the bike as well. So, let me just have a quick look around. I'm gonna show you around the bike. Right so Stay starters, tuned. we're gonna look at this Marmite headlight. Now for me, it don't really bother me. It looks a nice headlight. I'm sure it's nice and bright. <clears throat> so, we still have if we can get in there, the telelever suspension at the front. You've still got Brembo pads and discs as standard. But what you will notice is all the engine now is encased. All you've got now at the moment is your viewing site for your oil. It is a lot thinner, the GS is. What you will notice also is all the guards now are completely enclosed in the bike. The exhaust is shorter. The seat's lower. Everything now is enclosed. The back. Then we've got this little guard here. For the suspension. As usual the back seat isn't as big as the the GS, the old GS. It comes with Metzlers but as usual single sided swing arm. Again at the bottom or at the back we have got a BMW brake disc but I believe it's a Brembo rear disc at the back. Quick shifter standard, but as you can see here, everything is enclosed. The engine, everything is enclosed in there. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, in my opinion. As we come up, we've got the indicators in the guards. What I do like about this bike is, if you open the flap at the front, you've got like a little storage area for, I don't know, your keys or whatever. If you lift that up, there's your, that's your USB there. I think that's really good. That's a that's a that's a good idea having it having it hidden away there. So you've obviously still got the TFT and the nav mount. What I will say is the clutch res reservoir looks a lot smaller compared to uh, my GS. But yeah. It's a nice bike. So yeah, this is already sold, this is already gone. So we're gonna have a quick walk around here and have a look at this triple black. You've got the fogs at the front on this one, which is obviously different. They've all got this 
light plate around the engine. You've got the holes pre-drilled for the frames, the crash bars. You've got these for the panniers, for the racking for the panniers. Single sided swing arm again. Everything's boxed in. Indicators in the hand guards. And again, that light. That light. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. That light. What you've got slightly different on, on this is you've got the wind deflectors here you've got the the fog lights and obviously you've got the pre-drilled holes if you require the crash bars and you've got the heated seat and the heated pillion seat and the panniers just clip onto this so you want you no longer have the big frames on the on the back of your bike they've still all got the LED lights at the back You definitely need rad guards on those, 100%. They all come with the skid plate at the bottom. This comes with the Brembo BMW discs and pads. Again, single sided swing arm. And the short exhaust. I do actually prefer that short exhaust um, to the big aquaprofic one I've got on the uh, 1250 Adventure. All the bikes come standard with a centre stand. So yeah, let's have a little scoop around this for the last time. Very, very nice. As you can see from the tank, it is a hell of a lot thinner. What I do like on all the models is this little grippy bit here. So there's no need, no need to have the, uh, the gel pads on the middle here for your zips. All come standard with the TFD dash and the mount for the, for the nav. So right then, my muckers, what we've got here is the top line model, basically. This is option 719. So basically, this is, this is the GS top line model. This has got absolutely everything on. This is a phenomenal looking bike. So let's have a walk around it. But this is it in its whole tooling mode. Um, the only thing they're waiting on now is the the back box but you can see what it's going to look like if you're going to be doing any kind of touring or adventures or anything like that so let's have a look around right then starting off i love the gold wheels absolutely amazing i love them love them, love them on my gs proper tops the bike off really does so as usual, looking underneath, you've got the steaming dampener. 
which is here. And then you've got the cantilever suspension. Obviously, as usual, the engine is completely boxed in. You've got your, uh, your viewing window there, pre-drilled hole for the crash bars. BMW brakes with a double fronted disc at the front. Again, as usual, the same of them. All the engine is completely boxed in, which I really, I think that's a, that is a really good idea. As if you're off-roading, it just saves anything having to hit that. Any cylinders or wires or hoses, anything like that. So this comes with the panniers. This has just got the one exhaust. Some of them come with a double exhaust at the back, single-sided swing arm. Heated seats for the pillion as well. Quick shifter as usual, centre stand as standard. Side stand with a switch gear on. And you've got your indicators in the hand guards. And you've got that controversial light at the front. You've also got the wind deflectors at the front as well. Let's have a look at some of these features. So the, like I say, the button's no longer down here, the button's on the side there. TFT screen, comes with a mount for the sat nav, the integrated sat nav that you can use with the whiz wheel. Now you've got the different buttons here. So what these buttons do, this is like the menu button now. You've got this menu button for the bike, but you've got this menu button as well. So if you wanted to... So part of the new 1300 GSA is the new electric windscreen. So this button here, that goes into a sub menu. So if you press that, that turns on that sub menu. And then all you do is you click on whatever you want. So what you've got here, this is just the cover for the pannier. All you've got to do is twist them and they come off. And then that is the power for the pannier, for the light and the socket on the left hand side. So once they slip on, you've got power. So you can see there's a socket. And that there is for the Vario panniers. Once the ignition is on, as you can see there, you, you have got an interior light, which is, an, in my opinion, after a godsend. How you doing muckers? Right then, back home with my R1250 GSA. If you do want any information on the R1300, a test ride, or even you're looking at buying one, then do get in contact with Drew at Motorrad BMW in Wolverhampton and his team. They'll, uh, they'll help you out and give you as much information as you need. So stay safe, keep your family safe, and if you can all do one thing please, which is smile. Thank you very much. Until the next one, my muckers, I'll see you soon. The Peaky Biker out.